Good day YouTube, it's Brett here from Overtime Gaming with you once again and we're back this time with some more wrestling reviews. This one's slightly different of course and it is about a British independent wrestling company that I actually saw yesterday in Banbury. Banbury is, is of course where I live. Uh, we all know I'm a huge wrestling fan. We all know I love Ring of Honor and WWE. So I'm a fan of both sorts of wrestling to be fair. And I went and checked out this British independent wrestling company yesterday called New Breed Wrestling Association, the MBWA. And I must admit, the show was fantastic. I went into it not expecting too much. Of course, it was a small time um, independent wrestling company that I hadn't really heard of too much. I've seen, I had seen they've um, had Kid Cash wrestle for them before. Um, so that intrigued me a bit, to be fair. Went down to my local um, leisure centre to watch them. And they put on one hell of a show, I must admit. And the three men you see in the ring right now on this um, gameplay footage. David Hartsmith, Doug Williams and Al Laguero all actually wrestled for them yesterday. And when you get three big names like that wrestling for a small company, it adds to the star factor for them. I mean, David Hartsmith, Harry Smith or David Boy Smith Jr., whatever you know him as, being... WWE Tag Team Champion with Tyson Kidd and, um, and Natalia in the Heart Dynasty. He's New Japan Wrestling Tag Team Champion as well. He's lived it. He's the son of the British Bulldog, the nephew of Bret Hart. Um, he's absolutely fantastic. He's a huge, huge name. And of course, having a huge name like that definitely draws in crowds. Last night, you saw a lot of Bret Hart and British Bulldog fans in there who of course came to see the young lad in action and see how he stacked up to Bret Hart and stuff. The main faction in the MBWA is the management, they're a heel faction, the leader is the general manager and one of the members in it, Andy Wilde there and they came out and were having a brawl against one of the young lads in the company and Davey Hart Smith came running out um, his music hit and it was Bret Hart's music and as soon as you heard it the crowd went nuts he came running out and he looked absolutely huge he dwarfed every man in the ring and he called out one of the, t one of the management wrestlers which is Andy Wilde Andy Wilde's a big name in the company up and coming wrestler of course looked very good to be fair and later on in the match uh, later on in the evening even he had a match against Davey Hart Smith and Davey Hart Smith did not let the crowd down. He gave them exactly what they came to see. He was an incredible, incredible match. He put together an outstanding match with Andy Wilde. Andy Wilde, of course, is not as great a wrestler because he's not as seasoned as Davy Hart Smith. But Davy Hart Smith didn't make it look that way at all. Davy Hart Smith and Andy Wilde put on a fantastic show. Both hit fantastic moves. Davy Hart Smith had promised that he was going to make Andy Wilde tap with the sharpshooter. He had it hooked in at one point, but Andy Wilde man managed to grab the ropes and couldn't. Davy Hart Smith couldn't get the win with it. But then he did hit a, his finishing move and did pick up the win over Andy Wilde. And as soon as he did that, the crowd went nuts. Everyone was going fantastic. One of the young lads on ringside, it was his birthday, and he had a sign um, for Davy Hart Smith. Davy Hart Smith walked out of the ring, was giving everyone high fives and stuff. The young lad handed him his poster. Davy Hart Smith opened it up, picked it up. And we're just shouting thank you and everything like that. It was a brilliant, brilliant sight. It's exactly what you want to see out of your professional wrestlers. In Davy Hart Smith's meet and greet as well, guys. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. Really talkative bloke. Listened to everything you had to say. Signed everything you wanted him to sign. And it, I had a picture with him as well. And he is absolutely massive. I mean, I'm six foot six one, But... Davy Hart Smith dwarfed me, not just bulk wise, because of course he is stacked, but he is so tall and it's he's just huge. And you can ex you can definitely see he's the British Bulldog's son. Fantastic talent, and if MBWA can keep getting wrestlers like that to wrestle for them after around five months, I believe it is of um, being a company, they are going to be on to something special and a. Really positive vibes going around about this company. If you haven't checked them out, definitely go check them out. All the links for their Twitter feed, their Facebook chat, um, page, and their website will all be in the link below, guys. Definitely go check them out. I'm going to be reviewing pretty much all of their shows from now on. This show was called Home is Where the Heart Is, obviously because of Davey Boy Smith. But another wrestler showed up, 
And that is Doug Williams. Doug Williams is one of my absolutely favourite wrestlers. He's actually one of my heroes, guys. He's one of the reasons I went to this show. He's I've met him a few times and he's a fantastic bloke. I spoke to him on Twitter and stuff as well. Of course, he's from Reading, so he's not from far away. He's just been released by TNA. So he's looking to do some um, independent work over here in this country, guys. And he actually came to MBWA asking if he could wrestle for them. He was supposed to be booked on the show beforehand, but he unfortunately had another show, which actually then got cancelled. So he came back to MBWA asking for work. And when you get top talent like Doug Williams coming over and asking to wrestle for your company, that's a great positive sign. And if MBWA can keep getting that, it's going to be huge. There's news that Kid Cash is returning to MBWA at some point as well. So I'd definitely be looking at that. Sabu's been linked with them as well. So it's going to be awesome, awesome stuff. Hopefully when any news breaks of any wrestlers coming to wrestle for them, any matches being booked, I'll hopefully be able to break it on this channel officially. But we may get to that soon. I really hope that happens. But Doug Williams came out. He's an awesome bloke as well. I met him in a meet and greet as well. He's a fantastic, fantastic bloke. Hilarious guy as well. So glad I met him. And uh, he's just so talkative and everything. But he had a tag team match with one of the big, um, big up and coming guys in MBWA, T-Bone. And T-Bone looks like a professional wrestler. He's covered in tattoos and he's absolutely massive, toned as anything. And looks like an outstanding talent. And him and Doug Williams worked great as a team. They knew exactly how to work the crowd. They went up against an up-and-coming tag team who was top, tipped to be one of the best tag teams in Britain right now, the Magnums. And the Magnums are quite a camp-looking tag team. That's part of their gimmick. But they're, they're really good. They're really good to work the crowd. They know exactly how to work the crowd in their favour and against them. They were acting as the heels last night. And they knew exactly how to work the crowd for that. They also knew how to pull off the exact right moves for the exact right moments. And it was a really, really good match to see. And Doug Williams and T-Bone worked the camp factor into it. They used moves that set them up to make the Magnums look camper than they even were. And it was an outstanding match. T-Bone pulled off some fantastic moves and looked really, really good. The Magnums looked really strong as well. Didn't make Doug Williams look outstanding compared to them. And that's exactly what you want from your independent wrestlers going up against top guys like this. You want them to be able to carry themselves and present themselves in the same manner that someone like Doug Williams do does. And they definitely did that. Doug Williams and T-Bone pulled off the win. Exactly what the crowd wanted. As soon as they won, the crowd went nuts. It was a great independent wrestling crowd, guys. Around 150 people, I believe. And you could definitely notice it. The crowd were really loud at points. And it really got into the matches as well. So there's definitely something you need to check out. Awesome match with those lot. And you see the super kick there by Al Liguero. And he pulled off loads of those in his matches, which I'm just about to get onto. The main event of the evening was Al Liguero, who of course is one of the best British independent wrestlers in the world. If you haven't seen any stuff of him, definitely go check him out on YouTube. He's a fantastic, fantastic wrestler. Awesome gimmick. He knows exactly how to carry the crowd. Um, now knows exactly how to carry his opponent. And is... Um, Really has the look of a professional wrestler. He went up against the current MBWA ch world champion. Um, the male model Kay Jutler. Uh, who actually had beat kissed Kid Cash in the last last show. But he went up against Al Liguero in a 2 out of 3 falls match. Which got the crowd excited immediately. Kay Jutler was the heel. And you definitely noticed that when he came out. He was taunting the crowd. He was having a go at the crowd about everything. And the crowd really got on his back. They didn't like him, which is exactly what he wanted. Al Liguero came out. Everyone loved him. He came out getting the crowd pumping. The match was all over the place. It went into all the stands, into the tables in the corner, used the whole room. I mean, at one point, they came right next to me. I was in the stands. They came right next to me and started beating each other up, chopping each other um, right next to me. And damn, those chops looked real. Um... You could see the red marks coming up all over the chest of um, Kay Jutler from Al Liguero. And the crowd were getting so into it. It was absolutely fantastic, guys. The first fall actually went to Kay Jutler. He won the first fall by count out after doing a DDT on the apron on Al Liguero. It was a fantastic, fantastic mood. And the crowd went absolutely wild for it. And Al Liguero was counted out for the first fall. 
Then came back in and won the second fall via a small package. Great series of moves. Ended up with Al Liguero reversing a move into a small package, getting a free count. Awesome, awesome move. Then there was a big move off the top rope and a couple of other moves as well. And it was actually a double count out, which made the match a draw and meant that Kay Jutler retained his title. And the crowd hated it. They booed every minute of that part. They really hated the decision. The general manager that then comes out and orders the fall to be restarted in a sudden death. And that is exactly what happened. And Andy, uh, Kay Jutler was going absolutely wild for it, hating what had just happened. And um, as he was arguing with the ref, Al Laguero lined up the super kick and super, ki super kicked him right in the face. Awesome, awesome kick. The sound of it just echoed through the room. It was a fantastic moment. And Al Laguero was crowned the new NBWA world champion. Awesome moment. The crowd loved it. The room was pumping. Awesome, awesome moment. And a great way to end the night, guys. And if you haven't seen any of it, definitely go check it out. I'll link their YouTube channel into this as well. Awesome moment, and you really need to go check it out. Awesome card, and I definitely recommend going to watch it in the future, guys. I know I definitely will. And uh, I'm going to do as much promotion for the guys as possible because they really have something going for them here. And I really think you need to go down there. The whole card was fantastic. There was other big-name wrestlers like Kay Kaylee Ray and Alpha Female were there as well. Awesome, awesome stuff. The whole card was fantastic. Couldn't have asked for anything more, and they're really, really onto something there, guys. And you really need to check them out. Now, as I was saying, guys, they are an independent wrestling company, so they do need as much help as possible. And if you can do anything for them, like if you're a wrestler watching this, definitely get in touch with them, because they really will use you properly. They knew exactly how to use everyone to the best of their ability. And it was just a fantastic, fantastic evening, guys. And I just love the fact that you could interact with all the wrestlers. Like, you walked out the actual arena part and the wrestlers would be stood outside and would be willing to talk to you. They all walked into the stands at, um, after their matches to watch the rest of the show. And it's exactly what wrestling crowds needed. They were all there signing their gear for you. It was a brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. And it's exactly what MBWA and companies like that need to do. They need to present their talent as individuals that can be approached and can be contacted because that's what wrestling fans want they want to be able to know their wrestlers they want to be able to attach themselves to a wrestler who will become their idol who will become their favorite talent and that's exactly what mbwa allowed it was a fantastic situation to put themselves in it really presented themselves in a really professional and crowd-pleasing manner and the way they did that was by allowing kids into the arena as well. Kids to come and watch it. The kids added a great atmosphere. And the, the wrestlers themselves really connected with the kids that were there really well. They were The kids were all around ringside. And all the, all the um, stars would all go around giving them high fives and everything. Really connected with them. And all the heels would start shouting at them, telling them to shut up. And really having a go at them. Which got the kids' backs up. And wanted them to cheer on the star even more. The face. And the heels loved it. The heels were able to build off that. And just get the crowd disliking them even more. It was a great, great atmosphere. Everyone worked really well. And the, the way they just presented themselves was fantastic. They then supported all their promo work and everything like that. With great work in the ring. And a great match card. It was fantastic. And I really can't wait for the next one guys. And as you can see in this video guys. Al Laguero picks up the win in this match. Just like he ended the night with a win over Kay Jutler. For the MBWA World Championship. Fantastic, fantastic event. Awesome stuff guys. Really recommend definitely go checking it out. Stay tuned on this channel for more reviews. And more announcements about the MBWA. Really great evening. I recommend you go down and check it out. All the links will be in the description, guys. And remember, guys, peace out, YouTube. We're heading into overtime.